Hi, I'm Mr. Miller. This is pre-calculus. Let's take a copy of my syllabus, come on in, and we'll take a look around. So you'll notice as you enter my classroom, I don't have normal desks, rows, and columns. I have these tables. The students are assigned a table, and then they can figure out where they sit at each table. So I have a big picnic table and six other long, thin tables. Uh, we do most of our work off of this whiteboard and this large television. So just some things I do as a teacher. I give review for tests and quizzes. Every test, every quiz gets a review, and we do that review in class. I complete the review again on YouTube, and I send it up to their phone via Google Classroom. I grade test immediately. You'll know your score the next class. I may not get it right into SIS as quickly as I grade it, but I, they, I do grade it really quickly. I allow a low score on a test to be retaken, but only up to an 81%. I also give out the parents my cell number, 561-350-8332. Please only text me or call me if it's, it's really important. I give uh, students the test called the PERT. That's a post-educational ready test. It's actually a college placement test that we use here in the state of Florida. We also use that PERT to do something called dual enrollment. I highly recommend that your child dual enrolls sometime this year. It's really beneficial. I also give SAT and ACT prep the Friday before the test is uh, given. And I do that in my classroom from 3.15 to 5.30. Again, my name is John Miller. This class is pre-calculus. This is the math office phone number, my cell number, my email, be careful with my email, there's a dot one in my email address. I also have a YouTube channel, and that's the, the channel that I have this video posted up to. So your child, if they want to watch a, a review of some math that I've done, they can go to my YouTube channel and find it. So assessments in my class count for 60% of the grade. That, that includes tests and quizzes. Every week there's an assessment, so they alternate. Every two weeks there's a quiz, and then every two weeks there's a test. The tests have a, a bonus of 109, a curve of 109 out of 100. And the quizzes have a, a bonus of 12 out of 10. That's the curve on the quiz. You only get the bonus or the curve if you take the test or quiz on the assigned date. If you're absent that day, even if it's an emergency or due to illness, the curve is just as a bonus for you to take it on the assigned date. We also have a journal that's assigned throughout the course. It's worth 30% of your grade. Uh, the journal is very helpful for future classes as well. If you don't do your journal, you won't do well in the class. The other 10% is going to be classwork and participation. I give very little homework in my class. Our curriculum is designed to raise your ACT and SAT score. This is an SAT, ACT prep class. A lot of material on the SAT we cover in this class. It's also to springboard you into these college classes called college algebra. And then the calculus classes. The calculus class that the college your child goes to might be called methods of calc. It might be called survey of calc. FSU has a class called business calc. Um, other kids, such as people going to be an engineer, uh, architect, they're going to have to take Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3. It's highly recommended if you meet the requirements to dual enroll during this school year. It's very helpful because we cover the material while we're in this class. You might as well get two classes taken care of while you're taking one class. Um, the assessment, again, there's a quiz or test every week. They alternate. The curve or bonus is offered if you take the test or quiz on time. If you're absent, you do not get the curve. All students are required to take the midterm. However, seniors are exempt from the final. Uh, extra help, a video is my extra help usually. You can come to me after school for a little while, but I usually head out to work before 4 o'clock. Um, and again, the videos for every test and quiz, it's posted up in Google Classroom, and you should...
be able to access that no problem. Also, I do the review again in class. Now, if you go in to Google Classroom, and I'll pick any period here, and then you go into the stream. Classwork is where I post the assignments. Notice I have a video of me doing the review, and I have a hard copy of each review. So if you're absent, you can go ahead and see the review before the test. In the stream, that's where I like to talk about um, money and dual enrollment. So if you click on this FAU, flight plan, IFP they call it, checked by major, you can go ahead and find out the types of classes you're going to have to take. And I want to use FAU as an example. So this is the Foundations of Mathematics at FAU. And notice, they make you take two of the following courses. Most college students are going to have to take two math classes. And they can pick, be picked from this one and this one, or two from here. I always recommend, if you're not that into math, to take college algebra through dual enrollment, and you can get that requirement taken care of while you're still here in high school. On the other one that most students are going to have to take are methods of calculus. Another one that's popular is the statistics class. Usually it's two that's required, sometimes three, depending upon the major. Medical students usually, usually have to take stats and a methods or survey of calculus course. Now this is the Keller that Ms. Borg provided to us. You probably have a copy of it on your uh, hard drive. Ms. Borg sends it out to all parents and students. And she very nicely puts in the ACT, PSAT, ACT, and SAT dates. Notice January, there's no SAT or, SA, or ACT test. The day before the test, I offer a review in my classroom from 3.15 to 5.30. So there'll be a review on September 8th, then October 6th, October 27th, November 3rd. Now over here, before Thanksgiving break on the 16th and 17th, I'm going to offer the PERT. You can take the PERT in this school at Olympic Heights for free through my class. And it's a really important test if they are, are capable to take it and they feel confident that they'll do well, they should. Because it's like a safety net. The PERT score that they're shooting for is a 123 out of 150. If they achieve that score, then they're not allowed to be placed in a lower level math class. They must go in to at least college algebra or methods of calculus or stats. Sometimes if they get a lower score, they're gonna make them take a class called intermediate algebra or math concepts, which in fact are zero credit. You have to pay for it, but it doesn't count towards your math requirement. Um, so you wanna take advantage of the PER and my ACT and SAT preps. In this class, we're gonna be using this calculator called the Casio 115ES+. Um, it's a nice unit. You can pick it up at Walmart or um, Target, anywhere from $17 to $21, depending on what store you go to. I have a classroom set in my room, so if they can't really go out and get it, but um, if they're going to use it on the ACT, I recommend that they get it and practice with it. 